हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ वर्ड प्रेस वो कॉमर्स मार्केट प्लेस कोच सिस्टम प्लग इन दिस प्लग इन प्रोवाइड द फंक्शनैलिटी टू द सेलर ऑफ द मार्केट प्लेस टू अलाउ द कस्टमर टू कोट देयर प्रोडक्ट्स इट इज़ वेरी इफेक्टिव टू परचेज प्रोडक्ट इन बल्क ए कस्टमर कैन ऑल्सो कम्युनिकेट विद द सेलर ऑफ द मार्केट प्लेस रिलेटेड टू देयर क्वेरीज ऑफ कोर्ट्स सो नाउ वी मूव थ्रू द एडमिन पैनल टू चेक ऑल द फंक्शनैलिटीज आफ्टर सक्सेसफुल इंस्टॉलेशन एडमिन कैन कन्फिगर दिस कोर्ट सिस्टम अंडर मार्केट प्लेस कोर्ट्स एंड कोर्ट सेटिंग्स देर इज एन ऑप्शन अवेलेबल मिनिमम एक्सपायर डे फॉर कोर्ट्स सो एडमिन नीड्स टू एंटर द मिनिमम डेज आफ्टर दैट द कोर्ट विल बी एक्सपायर इफ द बायर डो नॉट परचेज द प्रोडक्ट सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेयर वुड पुट सेवन डेज सो आफ्टर सेवन डेज द कोर्ट विल बी एक्सपायर वी सेव चेंजेस so now we move through the seller panel uh, to enable the code for a product after login a seller can enable code for a particular product while adding a new product or by editing an existing product so we move through the existing product via product list and here the products of the this seller are available so a seller just need to press the edit button to enable code for this particular product this option is available under inventory and there is an option code product so if a seller want to enable code for a, for this product then he just need to check this option and update so now the code will be enabled for this product after that we move through the buyer end buyer panel to check all the changes after successful login a buyer can quote a product under shop page here you need to choose the product for example we enable quote for this product black regular t-shirt so click on the product and there is an option available quote this product so right now the price of this product is 49 usd so a buyer can quote at any of the price which he want to quote and enter the quantity so here a buyer needs to enter the quantity which he want to purchase so right now uh, i put it 10 and price per item is 39 so uh, this is the area of description description or buyer can uh, enter any message to the seller Uh, for example there is an another option available which is choose file so buyer can uh, choose any file or image uh, while uh, quoting a product for example we put an uh, dummy image here and submit quote the codes request requested successfully so we can check this code uh, option under buyers account page and my requested codes so this is the code which was last submitted by the buyer and a buyer can also add it or delete the product So now we move through the seller end. So to check how the seller handle the quote, the seller can find all the quotes for his products under manage quotes section, and these are the total quotes. Uh, this is the last quote which is submitted by the buyer. So admin press admin button. to perform relative actions so now admin can enter edit price quantity and can change the status of the code so right now uh, i have admin uh, the seller approved the codes and put a message to the buyer
So now we move through the content. At buyer end, the buyer can find all the codes under my requested codes. And this was the last coach which is approved by the seller. So when the quote is approved by the seller, the add to cart op option will be available next to the quote. And a buyer can directly press add to cart and the quantity and the price will be added to the cart. We can check it through view cart. So we, here we can see that uh, the price right now for this product is 39 USD and the quantity is 10 and it is added to the cart. So after that a buyer can proceed to check out and complete the order. So now we move through the admin end to check all the options. At admin and also admin can see all the codes under marketplace codes. So these are the codes which are uh, currently quoted by the buyers and this is the last quote. So admin can also edit and view the complete quote by pressing the edit button. He can also change the quantity, price and status and he can also send the message to the buyer. He can also see the conversation between the buyer and the seller. That's all for this video tutorial. If you have any query or suggestion regarding the plugin, you can mail us at support at webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.